everyone, I hope all is well. This video is going to be going over how to transfer all of your NFTs from one wallet into another. This wallet can be active on Loopring or not. Um, in my case here that I'm going to be showing, the Loopring wallet will be inactive. So to start, the best place to go is to mazehelps.art. Up at the top here, you can go to the current releases. The current release right now is 118. We're going to scroll down a little bit underneath this assets tab and click on Windows. If you have a Mac, Mac is also supported. Once this downloads, I'm going to open in folder, I'm going to extract it, and I would save this somewhere convenient like your desktop. But for this, I'm just going to save it here in the downloads folder. We can click into here, click into maze and click on the executable. Um, this is just a warning. I'm not registered with Windows, so this warning shows up. All code is available on GitHub if you want to review it. More info, run anyway. And to start, we're going to go to the mainnet, click the check mark. And since we do not have our um, application set up yet this is what we're going to be this is the new setup process um, so what we're doing is we're putting in our loopring information in here and then the layer one private key in here so we go to loopring.io sign in with the wallet you want to transfer from so all my nfts that i want to transfer are inside of this Looperlands wallet of mine, and I've signed in to loopring.io with that wallet. So these are my NFTs that I'm wanting to transfer to a my newly created Loopring wallet. You can't see it because it's on my phone, um, but I created a new Loopring wallet on my phone. Here's the wallet address for it. So all of these NFTs I will be transferring to here. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute, but all of these are going to be in that wallet. Um, so now that I'm signed in with the GameStop wallet, whose NFTs I want to transfer out of, I will go to the avatar, security, export account. And this information is private. Please do not show this to anyone. If anyone sees this information, consider your wallet compromised. So I'm going to copy this, come in here, come into maze and delete all that information or paste over the top of it and just simply paste all that information inside of that text box. And for this one, we need the, the layer one private key. We can get that from the wallet. So click on the wallet, go to the avatar, come down to the settings and from here you'll export the private key and same concept this is private information hence the private key do not show this to anyone copy to clipboard and paste in here then create and this will set up your mainnet app settings file for you we can exit out of here click the check mark and all should work so now that we are logged into maze uh, you can then go to the NFT wallet swap underneath the airdrop section and we will go uh, step by step through this. So transfer all of your NFTs to another wallet, enter the desired wallet. The desired wallet is my new wallet, which is right here. I'll paste that in there. And this is just another description. Enter the ENS or wallet address in the above box to transfer all of your NFTs to the desired wallet. Um, this does not have to be an active uh, loopring account or an inactive, it can be either. Um, click next, it's going to tell you to choose these fees. The loopring fee is going to be uh, the loopring network fee and the maze fee is a fee that I charge. It's 0.001 USD per transfer converted into whatever your currency is that you choose here. Uh, there will be estimates here shortly. So click next. Press preview to see a summary of your NFT wallet swap. This wallet does not have an active loopering account. Please check that it's a valid address. Check the below box to pay its activation fee. The first NFT transfer will pay its activation fee with the remaining two transfers normal. 
So since it's not an active Loopring account, I am going to pay for its activation fee with an NFT transfer. The first NFT transfer is going to pay for it with the remaining just transferring as normal. So we'll hit preview and press start to begin your NFT wallet swap. But I'm gonna read through this first. So here are my assets. Um, I have plenty of uh, Loopring LRC in order to transfer all of this. So there will be a total of 25 transaction with 29 NFTs sent to this wallet address. So we're just double checking, make sure because all of your NFTs will be going to this address. Double, triple check this. Uh, there'll be 24 transfers uh, and then one transfer with a wallet activation. Here are my estimates and here's my maze fee. So with that said, You can kind of you can check this uh, inside of your GameStop wallet You can look at your NFTs and there should be 25 different NFTs here. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 25. And this has 29 NFTs. So there should be a couple more or a couple of them with dupes. So I got five of this one. So there and I'm guessing all the rest of them are one. So like that adds up, we're all good. So we can start this and see what happens. All right, cool. So NFT wallet swap complete. Uh, it's gonna give you a, an audit file here. Basically it's just stating that all of these or all the NFTs were sent to this wallet address. Uh, this could be cleaner, but it is what it is right now. Um, here are the total fees that occurred. Six LRC with less than one uh, LRC to maze. So uh, we look good there. And more importantly, we can verify this inside of loopring.io. So we are all done with maze. I'm just gonna exit out, get out of all this because According to this, everything should be transferred from this wallet to my new Loopring wallet. So let's just check that. We'll go back to my NFTs, refresh the page. Okay, there we go. Do a little refresh. So all the NFTs have left. We can go to transactions, NFT swap, uh, the memos created with it, uh, NFT wallet swap via maze. And if we go to the first one, NFT wallet swap via maze with activation. Uh, you can total up the LRC if you want. I'm not going to do that here. But more importantly, uh, where's my cell phone? Let's see where they went. So I'm going to open up a different browser. Go to loopring.io. And now that my new wallet, I can activate it. I'm on my phone right now, obviously you can't see anything, but I am activating my phone because it's been paid for by a friend. Um, next. And now I can scan. I gotta wait for the activation fee to occur one moment. Or the activation process to occur, finish, whatever. Okay, cool. It looks like the activation process is completed. I'm confirming stuff on my phone. Now I can scan in to loopring.io. Prove. And let's activate layer two. I thought I already did that, but it's okay. Sometimes it needs to think. Let me give it a refresh just cause I activated it on my phone. Ah, okay. I'm on Gorly. Didn't switch that over. Let's try this again. Cool. All right. Signing, signing, signing. And here we go. Those were the four collections from earlier, but let's just make sure. So yeah, my NFTs view by item. Uh, we had the five of one, the red swords. And so there should be one, two, three, four, five, 
six, so 12, 24, 25. Boom, that's how you do it. Uh, if you need help, reach out to me. More importantly, before you do that, go to mazehelps.art, hit, hit this docs button and a lot of good information here. Um, download, setup, lookups, airdrops. Here's the uh, NFT wallet swap that we just went over. Um, yep, hope this helps everyone. Cheers. Have a good one.